Jim Rogers is author, adventure capitalist and international investor. He joins us now live on our set as our guest host. Now, Jim, I'm dying to hear your thoughts on this. A big theme down this way has been China taking minority stakes in a string of Australian resource companies at, of course, what looks like the very low point in the commodity cycle. To you, does it look like China's getting a very good deal right now? Well, you're supposed to buy low and sell high, Karen. I mean, the people who are selling don't have to sell at these prices, but I... I think China is wise. I'm optimistic about commodities. I've been on this show several times explaining that the fundamentals for commodities are getting better during this period of time. China's going all around the world and being extremely capitalistic. They're buying up raw materials at a cheap price everywhere. Who, how can you fault that? Well, Jim Rio Tinto might argue the opposite case, that it needs the money, it does, it does need to sell, it needs the cash right now. Well, then, then you're answering the question. If they need the cash, they've got to get it from somewhere, and if nobody else will give it to them, then take it if, if they need it. I'm, I'm just quoting what you You said they need the money. Jim, just following on, one of the broad industry trends that you've seen amongst the miners is production cutbacks, job cutbacks, as the uh, recession weighs on commodity market demand. In a way, if you are a bull, are all those production cutbacks possibly sowing the seeds for the next bull run? Yes, the fundamentals are improving for, for all commodities. Nobody's going to open a new mine. In the meantime, the old miners are running down their reserves, and mines are cutting back because many, many of the mines that came on stream were very high-cost producers, and, and they cannot very make quickly, money. Who are your favorites in, the, in terms of a stock perspective in the mining space, in the mining sector? Do you have any I don't have any. I buy commodities themselves. You make, you're, unless you're an extremely good stock picker, you're going to make more money investing in the commodities themselves.